guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time watching my name is Brenda Jo and I am coming to you fresh faced okay because I actually have to rush to do this I don't have to rush because Taylor is not gonna come until like another two hours but I still want to get this look out because I am being committed to the 12 days of glamis okay so I'm gonna have to make sure that I get my life together let's just hurry up and get on with this my room is definitely already a mess and it's gonna be even messier trying to film this your girl been lazy i ain't gonna lie lazy procrastinating i just haven't been with anything and mind you i have so many videos i recorded for like makeup and then i also have so many vlogs that i recorded but I never posted anything. Okay, you know what? It wasn't because I was lazy. It's because my computer stopped working. And then with my computer not working, I'm not able to store the files once I finish editing it to remove it off of my phone or my iPad. Because I have a hard drive that I need to put it in actually. But I can't because... My laptop is not working for me to transfer everything to the hard drive. Um, and then one of my hard drives actually um, crashed. So not only do I need to get my laptop fixed again, because clearly the person did not fix it. I also have to find someone to fix my hard drive that is storing my vlogs. That's one thing. And yes, I know, girl, just get you a new laptop. No, I love my purple laptop. Like, I wish I knew how to fix computers on my own. Because then I'll just rebuild it and get it to be... You know what, let me just do this like this. And then I'll just get it to be where I want it to be, you know, storage wise, settings wise. Um, I know it's possible, like computer people do it all day. Not all. See, I'm rushing that I just am not speaking properly, okay? I didn't prime my face yet, so I'm going to do that now. And I'm actually going to be using the Rimmel. I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Primer. I know I haven't reached the last leg of this primer just yet. I still have another one that is still not empty. I need to get something to like transfer it into. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my NYX concealer that I always use to clean up my brows. And I'm going to actually apply this on my lid just to make it even then i'm gonna take my one size beauty translucent powder using a brush to set it so that way it doesn't move or um cause any creasing And then I'm gonna also use that to set the primer that I had used because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be out for a while. So I don't want like um, my makeup breaking down on me and cracking. For my palette today, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild nude awakening palette so this is what it looks like these are the shades i recently got this and well i ain't recently get it technically i recently got it but i just never used it yet <laughs> so how i'm gonna do these so i'm gonna take so i'm gonna take this red shade right here and i'm going to blend that I did not think it would be this deep. And then I'm gonna blend it out. 
And the reason I can blend it out now is because, of course, I already have that translucent powder on my um, lid. Well, all over my lid, so it's like helping it be able to blend. Going into the lighter shade right here in the palette, taking this shade right here. I'm going to apply that above oh my brow bone and like above the color just to tone it down and soften up the edges see I have to get used to filming again like because one day I get it and then the next day I don't now I'm going to go back into that deep color and apply it all over my lid. Oh yeah, and let me tell y'all the struggles of trying to get my makeup portfolio back together. So I've been trying to find people to do makeup on for the free and people cancel or they just can't so right now i only have taylor and vanessa to show people if people are like oh let me see your work because i ain't got nobody else to show so this one here i'm going to apply and i'm just going to ooh. When you don't apply glitter, primer, or um, like wet the brush, this is how it actually comes out. A little more softer with the eyeshadow. Going into this deep brown, I'm going to deepen up the outer corner. Like place it right here. Kind of gives off this ashy black look, but it's a brown. Going back into that supposed red, I'm going to place that in between the shimmer and the dark brown. I have to keep going back in with this lighter color just to fix the edges from looking harsh. But let me use my fingers. Y'all see that? How it just came out more, more. Oh, this is KU. Even though this is not what I was going for, I decided against the wing. So instead, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that dark brown and blend out the edges of the liner the amount of patience you have to have when doing makeup <sighs> Ooh, this looks so unblended like when you do your eyes it requires a lot of back and forth with blending. Now, when I do other people makeup, I never have these problems. But I do my makeup, I have all the problems in the world. All the problems in the world. For lashes, I am going to wear, um, let me just wear these ruffle lashes from Kiss up here. They're the same style as this one if you need to see what the original looks like before it's cut. I need to learn to concentrate. That's really what my problem is. I cannot concentrate for nothing. Okay, let's get on with the face. This is like my exact shade. 
So I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade 13. Now I'm going to take my NK Makeup Perfection Multi-Use Concealer, um, Super Coverage Concealer. You can get this at the Beauty Supply. And I'm going to use this to actually contour. I'm just going to use my foundation brush just because... I have to wash my brushes today anyway. I like how this creates a soft bronze look. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do my jawline. I really don't know why I highlight my nose when the concealer right here I take and go like this and basically cover up my whole nose. Let me set the face. This powder is actually thick. It's like a thick finely milled powder I promise you know what let me not promise because promises are meant to be broken set le face with Fenty Pro filter powder Taking the CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. This is old. I don't I don't think they carry this anymore, but I'm gonna use that to try. I'm just dropping everything. Bronze up my face. Now I'm going to big. Biggity big big big. I'm going to use this powder to bake. Um, it's a mixture of powders. Not any specific powder. Did I just see a fly in here? I'm not going to lie. I'll be lazy when it comes to doing my own makeup. Let me snatch Leno's real quick with the bronzer. What? Oh, this is actually coming out good. Like, what? Maybe I just need to stop tripping a lot of time. Because your girl be tripping. I'm going to go into the deep brown to smoke out this lower lash part and then I'm gonna go back into that deep red to blend it out more smoke it out even more so it's not so harsh looking you know what it is? I don't have patience when it comes to doing my makeup. That's what it truly is. I do not have patience. And I know I'm not the only makeup artist like that. And then I'm going to take this. To clean up under here more. And then I'm going to take my powder brush and I don't think I'm gonna set my face just because I like how my skin is looking and it doesn't feel cakey so for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go into the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is the Molten Gold, Molten Topaz. 
and you still can't see that. I'm gonna have to put another inner corner highlight. You can see it actually, it's just not. as vibrant as I would like. Going in with a different highlighter, I'm gonna take this one in the middle here and see if that makes a difference. Yes, it does. I need to get it together, y'all. I need to get it together. Oh, you know what? Highlight. Yeah, so I'm just going to take the Molten Topaz to highlight my face, though. I think I just took too much. So now I have to make this one match. Wow. Wow. Okay. Guess we just gonna be beaming out here in these streets. So for lip liner, I'm gonna take Jaclyn Hill's Cold Brew. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using Max Velvet Teddy. No, wait. Taupe. Oops. Why does... No. I should have used Velvet Teddy for real. Where is my Velvet Teddy? Um, I'm going to take Whirl and place that on top because this is... I feel like I just made it more peachy. Um, yeah, I don't like this. Me not like it. So I'm gonna take lip gloss. This is the Tasha's Boutique lip gloss in beige. It kind of removed that like curly whatever thing situation was going on. Let me apply mascara. Yo, this mascara, the Great Lash, trash. Trash, trash, trash. Let me add a little more color into the eyebrows so that way it looks more full. This is the Essence Make Me Brow and Brownie Brows. I know some people use mascara, but this is better because it's not so deep. So you guys, this is the end of the video. This is how the look turned out. It actually turned out amazing. I really need to stop freaking out when I'm doing my makeup, but I just don't have patience when it comes to doing my makeup per se. And I have patience when I do others makeup. But this is how it turned out. If you guys loved it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Even though I know I be up and down. Trust me, 2023, the schedule is going to get better and it's going to be different. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.